just making my evening pudding and in my dish I've got some um, frozen summer fruits from Aldi and I've poured over it some sugar-free caramel syrup and I'm just going to add a sprinkle of cinnamon and some sweetener this one here just a cheap sweetener I don't know Truvia um, I prefer Truvia but this is what I've got at the moment in the cupboard just sprinkle over okay and the topping um, I really just I was gonna make pancakes or try something really different but this evening I decided I just want to it's cold um, I've had a busy day and I really wanted something satisfying and sort of schoolgirl pudding like so I'm just gonna mix with my regular porridge oats here with my banana and that's going to form the topping so I'm um, just going to add some uh, vanilla flavour drops in the mix as well squirt and that's going to mix together now if this seems a little thick I will add just a little bit of skim milk just to um, yeah so it's not quite so dry but you know depending on the how you like your topping you could like it crunchy and less wet um, then this will be sufficient and if you like it slightly softer then yes add a bit of uh, skim milk i'm going to add maybe a tablespoon of skim milk to that to finish off the mix and then i'm going to top the fruit okay so i'm just mixing in a little bit of milk and you can see the consistency that i like well, I like my topping sort of claggy, if that's the right expression, I'm not sure. Um, and I like the crunchiness on top when I add a few of my almonds. So you can see that lovely sticky consistency there. Superb. Okay, that's going on top of the fruit and then I'm going to sprinkle with some almonds. I'm using 10 grams of almonds with this, that's two points. And there it is. Just sprinkle over the top and then she's ready to go. Now that will take around about half an hour in the oven to um, cook. And I'm going to cook that at around about 180, 190. And I'm um, going to serve it with some of my favourite yummy fat free good yogurt. So my pudding's cooked and it looks absolutely as good as I expected it to and it smells even better <laughs> okay so I've got my dish prepared over here and it's just some uh, cork on the side now I've not flavored the cork because I think it's uh, the tartness against this lovely fruitiness and um, all the flavors going on will complement it perfectly so I'm just going to scoop some out let's see if top is fairly firm and I like the juice in it oh very nice that's going over there there she is how fabulous is that I'm gonna be a bit greedy and have a little bit more I think I deserve it wow absolutely scrummy now you can make this with any fruit you like, uh, any nuts you like or no nuts at all. Basically use the uh, simple starting point of the recipe and adapt it to your own needs and tastes. 